Hello YouTube and hello Ninth Age community. This is Charles the Evershade Gaming and I've got another Ninth Age Battle Report. This is game two of Buckeye Battles. We're playing 4,500 points. This is Empire Sansal versus Highborn Elves. And the deployment was in circle and the objective was capture the flags. I believe my opponent won the role to choose deployment or choose a uh, table signs. And he chose the side he's on, and then I uh, got to drop, and I went for turn one. So as you can see here, here are our deployments, almost finished, but uh, I can go through the Empire Sunstall deployment. On the left there, we got our riders. On the hill, we got three Knights of Sun Griffin, and uh, I had the attacker deployment, uh, attacker deployment, and my opponent had the defender deployment for encircle. Had my steam tank in the center next to my block of spears. Had my giant between my two blocks of heavy infantry. Had my heavy uh, my halberds uh, next to the giant. Had my wizard adept on a pegasus with alchemy behind my dragon, who's up front next to the uh, block of hand gunners. And my BSB and my wizard master and my artificer are all in that unit behind with the cannon nearby. Which the cannon doesn't really have that many shots this uh, game, but, you know, it's just going to pick on the, uh, I guess, the eagles. And here's my uh, opponent's deployment. So on his left, he's got 20 spearmen. Then he's got a big bus of dragon knights with uh, his BSB, who's also on horse, who's got, like, the Nova Flare. Then he's got uh, two things of... Uh, uh, four eagles sort of right there in the middle of the board kind of covering uh, two units of silver uh, not Silver helms sword masters uh, So he's got two big blocks of sword masters and then in the middle in the forest He's got his big block of sea guard and he's got five Elaine Reavers in front of that. So Pretty uh, honestly a very combat heavy hybrid elf army not too much shooting really just the uh, Sea guard He's rocking uh, Master of the Cranic Tower on the Spear Prince. And then I think he had Pyromancy. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think a Pyromancy add up maybe Book of Arcane Mastery. Sounds about right. These are after our vanguards. So I moved up my riders. I had turn one, so I thought at the very least I'm just going to try and chat those knights. Maybe move up my Knights of Sun Griffin to try and pull out some of his chaff. Uh, which is exactly what I did turn one. Uh, no charges, just moved up uh, with just most of my stuff. I moved my dragon up pretty aggressively because I wasn't really, you know, one, I wasn't really worried about getting charged uh, by those eagles, and uh, two, I wasn't really, uh, nothing else really could charge me otherwise, so I felt pretty safe to move my dragon up aggressively. I wish I could have moved up my Pegasus is aggressively, but uh, I had to keep him back because those eagles uh, charging him would not be good. Uh, after uh, shooting a magic, I work on those uh, reavers in the middle, and I get them down to one reaver uh, between a silver spike. Try to finish it off with a cannonball, but failed, and the cannon couldn't shoot for a turn. Uh, I do kill, I think, like two or three dragon princes over here, so that was good. I want to say this was a a block of 11, um, so I think I took out four, so that was a, a good round of shooting with the riders, worth their uh, their sacrifice. And looks like we uh, picked on the eagles on the right there with the, uh, the hand gunners there too. So my opponent decides he wants to charge, uh, clear out the chaff with uh, his uh, spearmen over here. Sounds fine. So he does so, and uh, he had just enough movement to chaff me with the one reaver left, so that was a bit of a bummer. Um, I would have rather had him use those eagles so I could get rid of those eagles, but that's what it is. Uh, he gets altered sight on his sea guard. Uh, he puts a couple wounds on my giant with the sea guard, and he cleans up the chaff, no problem. Uh, and then we go into Empire Sonstall turn two. I charge my giant, or my giant, my dragon at the uh, sword masters there on the right. Take a stand shoot from the sea guard, and uh, I get two wounds on the dragon, which was a bit of a bummer. Um, I think I, I want to say I used my lucky charm here too, and I rolled another one or a two. I was a bit bummed by that. Um, it's kind of a, a frustrating uh, 
<laughs> time to take a couple wounds. But yep, that's the charge into the Swordmasters, who have blocked up. Uh, I move my wizard over so that he's got a uh, a counter charge uh, for the next turn to help me clear those out. I move my steam tank up aggressively. I uh, charge the chaff on the hill, and then I just start moving my blocks up. Uh, my hand gunners are going to open up on the eagles, see what they can do. Hopefully, maybe cause a panic test. At the very least, you know they're probably just going to get the cannon. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Yep, this is what the board's looking like. We're really, uh, getting into it turn two. Uh, which actually, going back, you can see the dragon just killed the champion, which was kind of expected. Um, I did put Perception of Strength on the Swordmasters, reduce their strength by one, and then I did put plus one armor save. So the dragon has a two up armor save, three up against the Swordmasters. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, be better if I didn't take those couple wounds for sure. Uh, so at the start of my opponent's turn two, the uh, Dragon Princes charge the Knights of Sun Griffin, who flee. They obviously don't want any of that uh, that hotness coming their way, so they just get out of the way. The Eagles over here charge the Cannon, who did take quite a bit of damage from the Hand Gunners, uh, but obviously not enough to make them panic, or to, that, that was a pass their panic test, really. And then uh, both the Swordmasters in the middle and the Sea Guard go into the Steam Tank and decide that this turn they're going to get rid of it. Uh, and uh, actually, just so you can see, these Eagles have also charged the Spearmen. Uh, the Eagles had to charge the Spearmen so the Swordmasters could get through. And the Giant actually was able to charge the Eagles in the flank. During the Magic Phase, he does get Flaming Swords off. I, I really had to prioritize stopping uh, plus one strength. And AP because I feel like that is worse, um, uh, just because the AP pip is worse. Uh, he also got healing waters off, which was fine with me because that just meant I wasn't attacking sword masters. I just had to kill Seaguard, unfortunately. Even though I want to kill sword masters because they're so juicy and they're so nice to kill, uh, I I kind of uh, felt the need to uh, see what I could do here. And uh, these eagles kill the cannon, no problem. Uh, I take one wound from the Spear Boy, take three more wounds from the Sword Masters, so honestly, not that terrible. And then I just murder a whole heap of Sea Guard. I use my Breath Weapon and I, I got like seven or eight grinds, so it was quite delicious. I win combat by one. Oh my god, see you later, Sword Masters! And oh my god, what the hell happened there? So the Sword Masters. <laughs> Break from combat. Just by one. I mean, it was one in fear. They failed their eight. They didn't have a reroll because the BSB wasn't nearby. They flee. Um, they were close enough to the, the, the Dragon Press unit that they could hit them on a long overrun. Because the BSB is on the other side of the unit. So they hit the Dragon Princes. They cause a panic with them. And they start fleeing. You, you, just, you just can't make this stuff up sometimes. It was nuts. So now, uh, yes. <laughs> so now the steam tank is actually looking pretty good. Uh, and uh, I'm feeling pretty happy about that. Uh, and we do beat up on the eagles with the spearmen and uh, the giant. Over here, oh man, even with the reducing their strength, my opponent was just, like, he rolled a bunch of sixes, and I just flubbed my armor save roll again. Like... Because he's wounded me on sixes again with the perception of strength on him. I got a two, I got a three up armor save, and I just can't make any armor saves to the dragon this game. So fortunately, the dragon takes three more wounds, but dishes out pretty hard in return. I used my breath weapon. I was pretty satisfied to see that I blew through what like eighteen or so sword masters in a turn. So that was juicy, but yeah, definitely felt like I shouldn't have uh, ate so many wounds this turn. Unfortunately. Uh, yes, now we're going into this combat. Uh, we beat up on these guys, and they flee. And then my next turn, I was able to charge the Spearmen into the corner of the Sea Guard unit. So that was quite nice. Um, really, just that unit is bringing a lot of combat res, because they have a Legion standard. And the hope is, <laughs> somehow, that the Steam Tank doesn't die, and we can maybe scratch out a little, little win right there. That would be sweet. 
Um, or maybe make some time later on for the giant to get in contact. I don't know, something like that. Um, hoping to just grind out that unit with the. Actually, I tried to get the heavy infantry into the flank too with the halberds, but they failed their charge. They needed probably like a ten, and they just couldn't make it, unfortunately. And as you can see, a couple died to dangerous train in the water. Uh, I did also charge my Pegasus into the Swordmasters. I'm again, I'm hoping that the giant doesn't die, and I can break these guys at the very least i'm thinking you know if worse comes to worst that pegasus should actually be able to do it on his own uh with the uh with his breath weapon so that was kind of my thought process um yeah i don't know i just kind of felt like eh, if the dragon goes down here i need to capitalize on this moment and make sure the pegasus can finish off this unit because we are playing for capture the flags um and uh right now it's still up in the air uh, as to what's going to happen. So we just keep turning these hand gunners around, blasting these birds, just trying to get rid of them. Uh, I do get word of iron off again, which is helpful because then I was able to put alchemical fire on the sword masters. So that makes the breath weapon very effective. And I'm just, just hoping uh, that the dragon can stay alive. That makes armor saves. Um, and I do make some armor saves right here. Uh, Spear Boy puts four wounds on the steam tank to finish it off. I got two wounds left on the steam tank. And I make four armor saves. And the steam tank stays alive. This is where all the luck apparently was happening in the game. Um, because after that, we win combat here. And we break and run them down with our spearmen. <laughs> Which is a huge chunk of points. I mean, his his mage was in there, his general was in there. Ridiculous! Oh my gosh, the steam tank. But in the same term, the the uh, uh, the dragon just cannot make any armor saves. I want to say it took a huge. My opponent was hitting hot, wounding hot. You know, I mean, he was wounding on fives now, and he just I think he put like six wounds on the dragon or something like that, and. Yeah, at that point, I'm like, all right, this thing's not making... I'm not doing that again, and I didn't. Um, the dragon dies, unfortunately. But I did capitalize on the breath weapon, and I killed six. So I end up winning combat. Uh, I chase the banner, um, and he gets away, which is kind of funny because it's the banner of a calling. So I do want to get rid of that guy because he's a, he's a cocksucker, honestly. Um, yes. So obviously, the game's going great at this point, uh, even... Even with the dragon going down, uh, the Knights of Sun Griffin rallied on my on this turn, so it's still in a very solid point. Just about everything else his army is fleeing at this point, technically, except the one eagle in the right corner. And, oh my god, how does it happen again? This unit fails two more discipline tests, and his dragon princes and his BSB, which are just so gorgeous... So gorgeously painted. This was a beautiful army. They just fly off the board. The Swordmasters do rally, though. So there is some silver lining. The Eagles rally. Um, and we're still getting... And the sword, and the one remaining Swordmaster rallies, too. On, like, a three or a four. Um, so go figure. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, so, yes. Um, so I want to say I attempted to charge the Spearmen at the Swordmaster... Uh, and they failed. I also tried the Pegasus. Pretty confident the Pegasus could do it, but I just wanted to make sure I could do it. Um, so unfortunately, I did sort of leave the, the Spearmen in a bad spot uh, where they could get flank charged by those Eagles. So I set the Giant up in a way that if the Eagles come in, uh, the Giant can come into the flank too. And I figured between the Giant and, and the Spear unit, they should beat those eagles they they don't have too many wounds left uh the helbediers they get a little wet and start walking to the water i honestly at this point things were going well i i you know i moved the steam tank back towards my side of the board because i'm i've clearly got the objective i just gotta not lose too many scoring units at this point i've got three of my opponents so yeah we're just kind of this is a little bit more of a cleanup mode at this point uh, I get I do perception strength because I can. I do touch the heart to remove a wound off my eagle be, or my uh, Pegasus because I can. Um, and uh, yeah, we shoot this guy. We almost kill him. Um, actually, yeah, I, don't know, I can't remember what happens here, but yeah, yeah, we do something here. Um, but uh, we might kill him or something. Uh, we do kill the one sword. He does do a wound to my Pegasus, but we do kill him. I think it was the stomp that finally got him. <laughs> 
And uh, yeah, the Eagles didn't really take the bait on my opponent's turn. Um, we do touch the card in the Steam Tank because we can. And this is really where everything ends up. Uh, pretty much like the last couple turns are just the Swordmasters moving forward, me slinging magic at them. Um, you know, my wizards are just running around at this point. Uh, I moved sort of the, uh, I was sort of zoning them with the uh, Knights of the Sun Griffin, but I had no intention of charging them because that's just suicidal. And uh, yeah, just moving the BSB up. So we got bubbles, you know, the reroll bubble, the Knights of Sun Griffin do, do flee at some point. They flee through a bunch of stuff, but we don't really have any panics. Uh, so I think they just gave up half points at the end of the game, but then the Sword Masters didn't really get to get anything else. So we still saved a lot of points. So this game ends up a 19-1 win for the Empire of Sonstal. Yeah, I mean, it just went incredibly well at a certain point um, when my opponent just started having those flood discipline tests in... Uh, Turn two, and it started his turn three. We're just so swingy, so swingy for me. Uh, but uh, I felt pretty good about the deployment. Um, the matchup also was pretty decent, too, I would say. Um, I mean, not a lot of shooting is generally helpful. Uh, but uh, also glad to see the dragon stomp on some sword masters. Sorry to see it not make armor saves. Everybody, thanks for watching. See you soon with another Ninth Age Battle Report.